So here we have 60365 apartment building, which first released on 1st of June 2023. And here in the UK, you can get it for £75 at full retail. But if you're lucky, you might find it for around £50 on Argos or Amazon, for example, if it's on a good sale. And in the US, it goes for about $95. So again, hopefully, if you are over there, wait for it to be on discount. It's quite an impressive thing. And Lego haven't really done anything like this for Lego City before. We've had family houses and some that are quite vertical in a way, but nothing like an apartment building. And this fits in nicely with the downtown set, the really big one, which I'm going to be building also on this channel. So stay subscribed for that. But we've got a little convenience store down here, some space for the bikes, and then the apartment building itself with a very kind of modern vibe to it. And judging by the box art, you can see it's got this nice beachfront setting and a big city. And then on the back, you can just see more of the interior scenes. Of course, this is a city set. It's like the building's been chopped in half, but you know, if you if you buy these sets, you know what to expect for that. Yeah, got a nice rooftop area here. And this is what excites me the most, how you can essentially break this apart into different modules, which is what they've done with the family house set and they do with the downtown set as well. So once I finish building all three of these sets, I'm gonna make this whole video dedicated to all different possible combinations you can do with all three sets combined. So on this set, for example, there's the official one, there's the different modules, and there's one potential reconfiguration that you can do. So it really changes the whole thing. And it's good that they're coming in these little 16 by 16 and 8 by 8 modules and things. So that's very handy. I'd like to see more of that, please. It turns out, wow, look at that. It's packed full of bags. Oh, and it's good to see the instructions are protected. I like that. Got a big bag of large plates in here. So there are seven numbered bags in the set, plus the extra bag with the larger plates. One tiny sticker sheet, actually. That's smaller than I expected. And we also get three instruction booklets. With bag one, you get two minifigures, a bicycle, and then you put together this bike lane and what's basically just a bin shed. With bag two, we put together the little convenience store and the minifigure who works in there. And that also finishes the first instruction booklet. Bag three, you start the apartments by building a kitchen. So I'm building bag four, and I've just noticed a mistake in the instructions. There you can see everything seems normal, then oh bam, suddenly three extra bricks appear, and it hasn't told you where to put them yet. No, that's because that's the next step, and they're already there. With bag four, you put together what I'm assuming is more of the same apartment, and that also finishes the second instruction booklet. But now I can start putting things together. Now we've got a bedroom and a bathroom. With bag seven, you build this little roof area, I guess. It's the little table and chairs, infinity pool, and part of the roof structure. And just like that, I've finished the build. The back of the instructions shows some scenes of the minifigures and how you can pose them to tell different stories, but interestingly enough, they have the woman on the mobility scooter up on the second floor, and there's no way for the mobility scooter to get up there. But, you know, LEGO City sets, it's chopped in half, so just imagine there is an elevator. Unless that thing has, like, hover powers. I'm not sure how she got up there. Here's a quick look at the spare parts. Nothing too special there. Of course, you get a brick separator included in this set. And to help with the whole modularity and connecting this to other city sets of road plates and things, you do get these two tiles, which obviously you can swap out for here and here and add other road plates to. And, oh, I've just knocked one of them over, but you get a good selection of minifigs here, actually. So six of them in total, three male, three female, old and young, Different people who want, people who could live here, people visiting, you know, this guy who works in the shop, this guy who's doing a little workout and keeps falling over. But, you know, he's struggling there by looking on his face. And, of course, you get a bicycle and the mobility scooter, which is surprising because the red piece on the bottom here is all one piece, and you've got the specialised bar, which is new. So it's small, compact, it gets the job down. I just never expected it. And then we get a hot dog and a helmet for the, whoever wants to ride the bike. And then here's what the set looks like officially, all together with its different floors, with a palm tree on top. Now, when I was building this, I wasn't sure what it was really supposed to be. Obviously, we've got the store down below, and then a little bin shed and a bike rack, Ooh, knocking down the more minifigures. It's called apartment building, but is this one apartment? Is it supposed to be multiple? Because looking at it from behind, each module is a different room in the apartment. So we've got the living room space down here, then we've got the bedroom and bathroom, and then we've got the kitchen space. So is it all supposed to be one thing? Do they all live together? Are they all family? Or is it just different sections of each apartment that exists in this, you know, the rest of the imaginary block that's here? I guess you can interpret it your own way. It doesn't really matter. Then we've got a nice little chair area up here with the infinity pool. And on top, a sun lounger, a drink, and a barbecue to enjoy the sun. 
Although one criticism I have about this set is that some of the modules are a little bit bare. For example, this shop, there's a whole lot of empty space. They could have easily included just one more little stand, even if it was like two by two or something, just to have something else here, I think would have added a bit more to it because it looks a bit empty. And then same with the kitchen. I do quite like what we've got going on here. Nice kitchen area with the island and everything. But then this corner here is a bit empty. You could have put like a potted plant or something in there. For example, the living room space, pretty nice. Sure, the sofa's a bit basic. Maybe you could have put a little rug there. This table with a potted plant, I'd probably swap out for a desk and chair. And then maybe put that table in the kitchen area or even in the bedroom. Because I feel like this bed needs a little side table or bedside cabinet or something there. You know, you've got the space. Why not use it? But the bathroom is pretty impressive, especially the bath, the way it's built and everything. And there's enough room to fit a minifigure sitting in there if you want them to. And then you got this, which is supposed to be the toilet, but it looks kind of awkward because it's really built into the structure and it's right on the edge. So it's not the clearest thing as what it's supposed to be, but yeah, it's the toilet. But my favourite mini build from this whole set is the whole TV and TV cabinet. The way they've done this is pretty genius. It starts on the side with clips and things to get this TV in there. It's all built in thing, but it looks really nice. And of course, one of this set's main selling points is the kind of modular aspect to it, how you can take it apart and reconfigure it as they advertise on the box. So let's take it apart, show you all the different modules and come up with some different creations. And once you've broken down all the modules into their own individual things, this is what you've left with quite a lot. Obviously, you've got little side things you can clip on with some flower pots and things. Then some roof panels with the solar panels there. And these other designs, and then you've got the apartment blocks at the back there with these other side modules. So there's a lot here actually, and this is very good. So one possible creation I'll come up with doesn't involve these parts, but it does create this very tall, proper apartment style tower building here, which you know looks rather impressive, very modern. I mean the only downside to this set in particular with its modules is you're gonna have either some stud showing or some technic bricks showing you. Of course you can take the pins out, but you know you might still have bits showing or Maybe you could put the flower beds in some of them. You do only have two, and you, of course you've got one, two, three Technic bricks showing there, so you can't cover them all. Or you could use the traffic light ones. Let's pop that on, see how that looks. Yeah, I think adding those plant pots adds a nice splash of colour. And, you know, the studs showing could be some sort of part of modern fancy architecture, you know? And I like what they went for using these supports as side windows. Obviously, there's no glass there, so you do have to kind of use your imagination that there's actual glass in there. But otherwise, this is quite a clean look, and I think some people would be happy having this in their city rather than the original build because it's more traditional, it's easier to put into a layout, obviously, and you've got the height to it. So this is a quite a good look. And then I wonder what I can come up with using these parts. So I put together the leftovers to kind of create this little side outdoor relaxation extension. I don't know what it is. Obviously you've got the bins still down there, the table and chairs, and then I put the pool there. But by doing it this way, you, there's nowhere for the bike rack to connect. Obviously you could go up on the side here, but that probably wouldn't make much sense trying to put your bike up there. But you know, maybe you can add it and yeah, okay, that probably wouldn't work. But still, to have that leftover is fine. And I did just add this random decorative panel that comes with it. It's too bad that they don't give you more options for obviously the rest of it. Even if it's not as big as that, just something else small would have been nice. But even this quite work. Even this works quite well. Although there is a downside with these built-in plant pots, which aren't easily removable. It does get in the way of the ramp, and it will get in the way of and it will get in the way of any more road plates going along here. So you might not be able to make this work, but I'm sure you can figure something out. There's quite a few possibilities, and this set will go together lovely with the family house and the downtown set, because both of those also incorporate the modular little sections, and I'm going to be doing a video featuring all three sets, trying to come up with some crazy different combinations using all these parts. So stay subscribed for that, and of course, check out the videos where I made the family house and the downtown set. Thank you very much for watching, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel, or on one of my other channels as well. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends.